Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Archie's Top 5. On this channel, we discuss some of the most fascinating topics in education and business sector. In this video, we will discuss what is micromanagement, why do people micromanage, and 5 signs to find out if you are being micromanaged by your boss or the manager. Let's see, what is micromanagement? Everyone knows the term. Some fear, and even avoid any company, that's associated with the word. But what is micromanaging by definition? Micromanagement is a management style, where a manager closely observes or controls the work of, subordinates or employees. Micromanagement generally has a negative impact. In reality, most of us see it as management's attempt at digging its fingers deep into the pie of those, actually doing the work. Unfortunately, the study showed that 70% of people who reported being micromanaged, had considered quitting their job because of it. Over 30% of respondents, actually did. Let's see, why do people micromanage? Micromanaging, is a way for management, to ensure that tasks are performed in a very precise manner, in other words, management's way. Problem is, it isn't always the right or most productive way of doing things. And, that's just one of the dangers of micromanagement. Micromanagement is one of the worst, most damaging and morale-sapping ways of managing people. That can seriously affect productivity, employee retention, and ultimately, damage people's health. Let's come and see the five signs, if you are being micromanaged. First sign. Micromanagers like to know what everyone is doing all the time. They're often concerned, that someone is slacking off and not attending to their responsibilities. So, they monitor everything. They literally walk around the office looking over shoulders and asking questions. They monitor online activity too. Some even use messaging applications, to note when employees are active or idle. When you're working for a micromanager, the most of your time is often spent on reporting. This can come in several different forms, such as writing hourly, daily, weekly progress updates on various tasks, or responding to the emails, and they always expect timely and detailed answers, or filling out Excel templates that show the number of invoices you've done. Such reporting can be laborious and time-consuming, and take you away, from doing your actual work. You will not be able to concentrate on your actual task and half of your day, will be consumed in unproductive chores. Second sign. They are always complaining about something. They are perfectionists and thus pay attention to the closest detail. They believe, that the only way for something to get done properly, is if they do it themselves. Consequently, they will never be 100% happy with how you performed the task, and they will never be totally happy with the deliverables. They will complain about the mistakes you made, and mention, how you should have done it. They will tell you that they could have done it better. For example, consider a proposal you have completed, in line with the exact requirements. You complete it and send it to your employer for review, they will always ask for changes and additions, which will take a toll of your time. And you will not be able to complete, your other important task in timely manner. Third sign. You find yourself in meetings all day, every day. We're individuals with our own sets of preferences. A good manager recognizes that, agrees to disagree, then makes a call. However, micromanagers are usually intent on aligning everyone's opinion to theirs, making sure everyone sees things exactly how they see it. To this end, long meetings are held on a far too regular basis in which subjects are chewed over to the point of exhaustion with no one allowed to leave until a consensus is reached. Fourth sign. Instead of being open to new, different or innovative ways of thinking, they stifle creativity. Micromanagers, aren't showing that they are open to change, they never understand that someone else, even someone with less experience, might actually have a better idea for the work. Micromanagers, think there is a right way and wrong way, to do almost everything. They have very specific ideas about how work ought to be completed. So, their assignments tend to be tightly defined, with restrictive parameters. Employees and in turn, feel like they aren't able to innovate or be creative. They have to follow strict guidelines, to try and meet the highly specific marks set by their boss. 
they don't appear to be willing to let other people shine, eventually people stop offering up anything new at all. They end up sitting around, waiting for their wonderful ideas, before acting. This eventually paralyzes the team members from sharing their unique brilliance with manager. This is the kind of experience that makes once enthusiastic employees feel like mere cogs in the wheel. Eventually, it can take a real toll on morale. Fifth sign. They act like a manager, but not a leader. There's a big difference between a leader and a manager. Leaders inspire their employees to trust them and to trust themselves. Managers, on the other hand, rely upon control to get things done. Leaders focus on people, while managers are more concerned about the work itself. Leaders who lead by example are those exceptional individuals who, more often than not do the right things. They demonstrate the right behaviors, and follow through on promises and commitments. In addition, they act as role models and mentors, and great listeners. A boss manages their employees, while a leader inspires them to innovate, think creatively, and strive for perfection. Now, that we've covered all the signs. Perhaps, you've come to a definitive conclusion that you are being micromanaged or not. Let us know in the comment below, if you ever part of a company, who micromanaged, and you would like to see part 2 of this video where we can discuss, how to deal with micromanagement culture. Please do like and subscribe to our channel Archie's Top 5, for more informative videos like this. Till then please take care of yourself, and we'll see you soon in next video.